Hello, my name is Tommy Powell. I'm a sales rep for Salesforce, and I just wanted to get right into it. But before we get started, here's my business card. Um, I just emailed to you, and I wanted to reiterate that we have 20 minutes today, correct? Yes, that's right. So I've been a rep with Salesforce for about five years now, and I've loved it ever since. I'm very proud to say we are the number one CRM company in the country, and I'm glad we were finally able to get together to discuss the possibility of bringing Salesforce into your company. I did get the opportunity to talk with a couple of your colleagues, one being Bill in your Athens location. Um, he mentioned to me how proud he was of the growth that your company has experienced over the past couple of years. Um, but some potential problems that arise from that growth. So I just wanted to make sure I have my facts straight before we process. Is that okay? Yes, that sounds good. So your company has experienced growth and revenue of 12% in the last year. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. And you're also planning on expanding into at least four different retail locations? Yes, that's correct. That's impressive, especially during COVID times. Um, one thing Bill mentioned to me when we were talking was that with all this growth, you're in desperate need of a uniform platform that integrates each of your locations. And he also mentioned that your current CRM platform is lacking in this area. So I'd love to dive deeper into how Salesforce would be able to simplify this for America's farm garden supply and also other ways Salesforce could be advantageous. Also, if there are any other specific topics you would like to discuss, I would be glad to talk about those with you as well. After looking into many companies that are similar to yours that Salesforce have worked with in the past and talking to Bill and several of your other colleagues, I've put together three different points that I believe are worth us talking about today. The first of which is the lack of communication throughout your different locations with different levels of employees and managers and different things going on within the company. I'm also under the impression from employees that there's a lack of um, cooperation as a team and time management. And lastly, with the exponential growth you guys are experiencing, there's a need for system to keep up with the pace of growth. So after hearing these things, do they sound like problems worth addressing? Yes, definitely. So I noticed you have retail locations all throughout the southern states. Is communication one of these locations? Is, sorry, communication within these locations lacking at all or is it running smoothly? Um, yeah, so I would definitely say communication is one of our biggest concerns. Like you said earlier, we don't have a central database, so there's definitely a lag in communication between employees, managers, and then throughout different departments. Um, and so this is definitely something we could improve on. Our main channel for, com for communication right now is just through phone calls. Um, so with our expansion, with our up and coming expansion, that's probably not going to cut it. Yeah, I definitely understand that. I know communication plays a key role in a company's success. So I really want to make sure we nail down the implications of this problem. Um, next, in what ways do you see that communication has affected your business? Um, so I think the main way that we see this lag in communication is just um, with gaps within our company. So um, there's no real gap real way to gauge our success with gaps within the departments and so it's creating a hole in customer service as well which is something that we never want to see yeah it's definitely a big issue and with your upcoming expansion it could prove to be an even bigger problem and a huge cost to your company so i want to dive now um into our second issue that we talked about which um it's kind of how these two issues go hand in hand so I know you said without a uniform CRM platform that it's hard to communicate amongst locations and different levels of employees as well as customers. So how does this lack of communication um, lead to a disconnect and cooperation with employees and has ultimately led to lower productivity? Um, yeah, so if I had to gauge it right now, our company is probably hitting about 80% of our goals, which is definitely good, but not where we would like it to be. Um, and so I think this lack of or this lack of co cooperation and time management is definitely something that is impacting us. And um, so I'm very proud of our company, but I would definitely like to see our company hitting around 90 to 95% of goals, if not 100. Yeah, so I know you said that you see this lack of productivity as an issue. And I'm just wondering if you see issues with the stress and effort it takes to go in and send out emails and organize tasks throughout the office. Yeah, um, I think that's definitely could be an issue and it's not really one I considered up until now, but it definitely could be leading to this frustration within our company and this disconnect. And so um, 
and then also the lack of cooperation from employees. Okay, so moving on to the final issue that we discussed, which is a concern of keeping up with the growth. I know that we keep coming back to the main concern of not having a CRM that could keep up with this growth. Um, so if you don't mind me asking, how is your current CRM doing in terms of keeping up with the six retail locations that you currently have? Yeah, I would say that our current CRM does an okay job at keeping up with our six locations. But definitely as we look forward into expanding into our, our four more locations, um, we kind of know that we need a bigger scale CRM. Um, and as we begin to expand, we definitely want to be able to keep up with some of our bigger competitors, such as Home Depot and Lowe's. And so the next step would be to upgrade um, our CRM. Definitely. So I was talking to Bill, your manager at the Athens location, and he mentioned that um, with the growth you're expecting in the next year or so, he and many others are actually worried about having an efficient system to keep up with customer information. Um, I know you all at America's Farm and Garden Supply pride yourselves in customer service, um, but over the next couple of months when you begin to expand, you're going to be getting so many more contacts and information about your customers and, and just a lot more density of information. Do you think your current CRM would be able to keep up with this growth of customers? And, um, you know, if, if not, what do you think would happen? Yeah, um, I definitely am already seeing some gaps within our current CRM, just with the locations that we have now. So I definitely think this would be a problem um, with expansion. And as far as the implications of this, I can see that our company um, I can see our company just becoming disorganized and disjointed to a point that we're sacrificing customer service, which is something that we don't want to do at all. Yeah, so you're definitely looking for a system not only to organize and help effectively communicate throughout the company, but also one that holds customer information better. So at this point, I just want to reiterate the problems we discussed so we make sure we're on the same page before we move forward. Um, so the main points that are costing your business um, revolve around a communication gap between locations, departments, employees, um, and a lack of collaboration and cooperation that not being able to keep up with the exponential growth you are and will continue to experience. Um, these problems are definitely becoming pretty large in size. Would you say that these incur a pretty large cost on your business? Yeah, I would definitely say they come with a a pretty big cost and with the expansion that we're um, about to be doing we can't afford to aff uh, to incur those costs. Yeah based on the research and homework I've done uh, I, I went ahead and estimated some of the costs you're facing if you'll just bear with me for a moment. Um, with this lack of communication and disconnect this is the lead this is leading to the loss of customers which in turn is a lack of sales revenue. Um, not only that but lack of cooperation you have among your teams is leading to loss of productivity, which also has a pretty big cost. So now I know you at America's Farm and Garden Supply had a big year last year in growth, um, but in my estimates that growth revenue could have been as big as 15% higher if it wasn't for these problems. Um, so your revenue last year was $518 million, which was 12% sales growth, correct? Yes, that's right. So in my estimations, your revenue could have been as much as 524216000 which implies a cost of roughly $6.2 million throughout the year. Um, does this sound about right to you, and do you agree that this is a pretty fairly hefty cost? Yeah, that definitely sounds correct, and I can definitely agree that that's a pretty big cost that we can't afford if we're going to keep up with our competitors. Okay, perfect. Um, if you don't mind, I'd love to tell you now how about Salesforce can be of assistance to America's Farm Garden Supply in the areas that we've discussed. So like I said earlier, Salesforce is the number one CRM platform as well as the first cloud-based system. Um, and what this means is that there's they're all in one central system in one location that you can use throughout different channels and different states. Um, Salesforce also offers training to every single employee so there would be no worry of a knowledge gap between locations or levels of employees. Anyone is able to be trained as Salesforce, no matter their position in the company. Um, that's really just up to your discretion. What this central database and system does for big companies such as yours is it helps employees get on the same page about what's going on and the tasks that are asked of them, as well as helps improve upon some of those communication issues that we discussed previously. 
by having this unified dashboard that updates in real time across all locations and employees, um, this will definitely help improve on productivity as well, because there will be no question what tasks are needed of your employees. Um, another cool aspect of Salesforce is that we actually have email templates that we create for you to allow companies to speed up communication. Like we said earlier, when you're working with such a large company, communication is key. And so Salesforce came up with a more effective way to communicate by making these templates uniform, professional, and consistent. This will help customer satisfaction greatly by allowing you to communicate with customers in exactly the way you want at the exact same time with the right format. This consistency will really help your brand image as well. Yeah, that definitely sounds great. And that's something that I think would fix a lot of the major problems that we have um, and the problems that we've discussed. My only concern with this is the difficulty of the platform. Um, so for some of our employees who aren't as tech savvy as others, how will we ensure that it, everyone is using the platform properly and getting the best use of it? It's definitely a very valid concern, um, one that we hear a lot. One of my favorite things about Salesforce is its simplicity. So although it fixes many complex problems as well. So um, like I said earlier, Salesforce offers training to all employees. But not only that, it's also a very simple system to learn. With the email server, you're able to go in and enter whatever email addresses you need. All you need to do is go check what time you need emails to be sent and sent out to and who. Um, and Salesforce will actually do the rest for you. Not only this, Salesforce can even tell you who is opening your emails. Um, so this will actually increase your productivity because you'll be able to tell what's working and what's not working so well with certain groups of customers. Yeah, that sounds great. As far as keeping up with a large amount of data goes, um, this is where Salesforce really specializes. Salesforce organizes and holds data efficiently um, or, and effectively so that no matter where you are, whether you're in Kentucky location, Georgia location, or any new location, um, you can always access customer information. This will also allow you um, to look into what is working in different locations and what is not in order to make helpful changes within the company. Being able to access this large amount of data effectively because it is so organized will allow you to tailor to certain customers better, which will increase overall customer satisfaction. For example, let's say a customer shops at store A and buys an item and needs help returning this item to store B without a receipt. You'll be able to go in, find exactly what they purchased at what time and be able to better help your customers. This is a great example of how Salesforce can bring together all branches of a company no matter the location. Yeah, definitely. So obviously at this point, you're probably wondering how much something like this would cost. Are you okay if I go ahead and cover some of the costs for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so starting off, there's a $25,000 installation fee. However, this does not include training for every employee. In addition, the licenses are around $300 an employee. So I know you have 40 employees at each of your six sites. Um, about to be 10, but not all 40 employees would need to have this software. Um, that's at your discretion who gets it, so don't let that cost scare you. If you were to install Salesforce for each of your 20 full-time employees, as well as your two assistant managers and one general manager, um, and also to your 22 headquarters employees for each for $300, that would be around $72,000 for your retail locations and $6,600 for your headquarters, which would total up to about $78,600. Um, this added to the $25,000 installation fee would bring the cost approximately to $103,600 a year. Okay, sounds good. So as we wrap up today, I'd love to schedule a customer site visit for you and your colleagues. Um, I actually wanna go in in person and if possible, and illustrate to you firsthand how helpful Salesforce can be before we, um, you know, want to close on it. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this in person, we could definitely set up a virtual visit site instead. Yeah, I would love to do that. Thank you very much. That sounds great. So if you know a time and date off the top of your head, well, that would be great. But if you want me to, if you'd rather check your calendar and get back to me, that also works. Yeah, so I definitely need to check with a couple of my colleagues, but um, we could schedule a meeting over Zoom for next Tuesday and then discuss plans for the site visit. Yeah, that works perfectly. Um, I'll definitely follow up with you next week. 
Um, thank you so much for meeting with me today and discussing the next steps. And I look forward to meeting with you next week. Thank you.